Jai Gurudev Namaste Kaushikji we are delighted to have you with us today to discuss Padma Sadhana can you start by telling us what Padma Sadhana is Namaste Padma Sadhana is a unique practice that combines physical postures breath control and meditation techniques to enhance overall well-being it draws from traditional yogic practices and is meant to bring about physical relaxation mental clarity and spiritual growth what is the role of a guru in learning Padma Sadhana the guidance of a guru is crucial in learning Padma Sadhana Gurus provide initiation and proper instructions, ensuring that the practice is done correctly and safely. Learning directly from a guru or through a recognized tradition is essential, as it helps avoid mistakes and deepens the experience. Can one learn Padma Sadhana online, or is it necessary to learn it in person from a guru? While online resources can provide basic knowledge, true understanding and initiation should come from a guru. The nuances of the practice, the corrections, and the energy transmission. from the guru cannot be fully replicated online therefore it is best to seek direct guidance you mentioned that people sometimes make mistakes while practicing padma sadhana what are some common errors a common mistake is losing focus or skipping parts of the sequence some practitioners might forget a step or become distracted leading to an incomplete practice it is natural for the mind to wander but with consistent practice and mindfulness one can stay present and complete the sadhana effectively what should one do if they find their mind wandering during padma sadhana if your mind wanders gently bring it back to the practice concentrate on your breath or the specific posture you are in it is important to be kind to yourself and not get frustrated regular practice will gradually improve your focus and help you stay present can padma sadhana be practiced at any time of the day ideally padma sadhana should be practiced early in the morning when the body is fresh and the mind is calm however it can be adapted to suit individual schedules it is essential to practice on an empty stomach or after a light meal to avoid discomfort is it possible to practice padma sadhana with a partner or in a group yes padma sadhana can be practiced alone or in a group practicing in a group can enhance the collective energy and provide motivation however it is crucial that each individual maintains their focus and follows the guidance of the guru or a knowledgeable instructor can some people experience physical or mental challenges during padma sadhana what would you advise them it is normal to face some challenges initially physical discomfort can often be resolved by adjusting your posture or gradually increasing your flexibility mentally maintaining a positive and patient attitude is key if problems persist consult with your guru for personalized advice can you share any personal experiences or insights from your practice of padma sadhana certainly i remember preparing for a significant event and i was overwhelmed with stress practicing padma sadhana during that time brought immense clarity and peace helping me manage the situation better another instance was when i was traveling despite being out of my regular routine padma sadhana helped me stay grounded and balanced what are the long term benefits of practicing padma sadhana regularly long term benefits include improved physical health increased mental clarity emotional stability and spiritual growth regular practice can lead to a profound sense of inner peace and enhance your overall quality of life any final advice for those who are thinking about starting padma sadhana my advice would be to approach padma sadhana with an open mind and a sincere heart be patient with yourself and stay committed to the practice seek guidance from a knowledgeable guru and allow yourself to experience the profound benefits that this sadhana can offer thank you so much mr kashik for sharing your wisdom and insights in padma sadhana it has been a pleasure talking to you Thank you it was my pleasure to share this beautiful practice namaste jai gurudev